What's up guys, Gabe Porn Stuntman back again. And uh, the other day my uh, computer crashed on me while I was in the middle of streaming. And uh, I kept trying to restart it and couldn't get it to restart. And as you can see, I got a Q code of 02. And when you look it up in the book, the, the manual, you get uh, a vague answer. And the processor is a Intel i7-6700K and the motherboard is a Maximus, uh, Asus Maximus 8 formula Z170 and as I said the code 02 says AP initialization before microcode loading so I looked up all over and I couldn't find exactly it's kind of like a vague answer it doesn't really tell you exactly what but uh, anyhow let me restart this so you can see I'm sorry, I apologize for that squeaking noise or humming noise. The squeaking is my chair that I need to replace. And the humming is my fan because it's hot. So. And uh, so what I did, see how it says preparing automatic repair? It'll get stuck on that. Let me restart it again. So it gets stuck on the black screen there, the load screen. And it won't even get to the blue screen. All right, so I started troubleshooting. I went through and uh, checked all the connections. I found the 24 pin was a little bit loose, but not a whole lot. So I reseated that and still didn't fix the problem. Went through and uh, pulled all the memory. I got G-Skill uh, Rip Jaws 5, 32 gigs. So I got four sticks of eight. So 32 gigs at 32 megahertz XMP. And uh, pulled all the sticks put them in each slot one by one so 16 different times to make sure that the memory wasn't bad or memory slot and that wasn't it uh, from there I got a Samsung 970 Evo that you can't see it's underneath the cover there and I got a WD black 6 terabyte drive um, there so what I did was I booted it try to boot it directly off of the WD black because that's got an OS system on it also and uh, still get couldn't get it to boot so at first I thought it might have been a bad program or uh, you know that I just installed or maybe this the NVMe went bad that my Samsung went bad because I probably got that about a month ago and um, so after booting it off that it wouldn't boot so I tried to go into safe mode I couldn't get into safe mode um, so it wouldn't load at all so like I said pulled that then from there um, uh, double checked like I said, all the connections. I pulled the graphics card, ran it off. Um, I had dual monitors, so I ran it off one monitor, didn't work. Pulled the graphics card, and I connected directly to the onboard graphics. Still wouldn't work. And uh, so what I, I started messing around with the BIOS, because that's the only thing I could get to, was the BIOS. So let me start this again. I cleared the CMOS, pulled the CMOS battery, still nothing. And uh, after messing around for a day or two, in the the BIOS and messing with this, trying to get it to work, trying to fix it. Um, as you see, as you see, it goes to preparing automatic. So let me uh, go into BIOS here. So I'm messing with, in the BIOS, trying to change settings, and uh, I have the latest uh, BIOS, which is a 3801. And uh, so I have the latest BIOS, so that wasn't it. Like I said, I cleared the CMOS, that still wasn't it. And right now, you, as you can see, I have uh, XMP loaded and it's overclocked. So I also cleared the overclock once I was in the BIOS, that still didn't work. Dropped it back down to stock, nothing. So what I did was I went to uh, advanced CPU configuration, went down to, I don't know why I thought of it, but I went down to, uh, to active core proce processor cores. And uh, I tried dropping it down to three, didn't work. So I dropped it down to two and one. And for some reason, it'll boot. So prior to this, I noticed my CPU was getting hot. Uh, 
I don't know if I just hadn't noticed it before. I know that that the 6700K, the 7700K, and the 8700K have uh, thermal problems. You know, they run hot. But uh, I don't know if I didn't notice it before or what. But uh, I had a feeling it might have been my my uh, CPU. So anyhow, as you can see now, it boots. And I'm able to go into whatever program, online, whatever, and it works. But I even went into troubleshooting, tried to find the problem since I was able to get in here. Also went in safe mode, tried to debug, tried everything I could possibly think of. And uh, couldn't find anything wrong with it. It wasn't telling me that there was anything wrong with it. So. So I don't have a mouse pad on my uh, desk here, so it's not okay. Oops, and it's not showing. There we go. So you can see it's only showing four logical processors because as it says here, two cores, four logical processors. And if I restart it, it boots, fine, everything. I just noticed it, it runs super slow. So, and I'm using this to uh, stream my, uh, to game stream. And it's been running perfectly fine for two and a half years. So, I narrowed it down to the processor, motherboard, or uh, power supply. But I was 99% uh, sure it was a CPU. So what I did was I got a hold of another uh, uh, i7-6700K, slapped it in there, and it booted right up, no problem with four four cores, eight threads, and uh, overclocks fine. So I've been running it already for about a, about three days with the new processor in there, and uh, no problem. So I already did the warranty through Intel. They uh, gave me the RMA. And hopefully in about a week I should get my new uh, processor back from them. So alright guys, let me know if this helped you out. Uh, have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, if it helped you out. Like I said, I looked all over online. I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find anything regarding the uh, Q code 02. And uh, like I said, I troubleshot this thing for a couple days. I got all the way down. I tried to... Uh, to uh, to boot with the USB drive from Windows 10 and I couldn't get that to work it would have boot from that until I got the two cores or disabled the two cores is when it finally worked and um, even try to repair the computer from there and it still wouldn't take it I mean my last resort was to was to uh, reformat the the hard drive but since I swapped it out for a second drive and it wouldn't boot from that one either I was 100% sure that it wasn't it wasn't the Windows uh, operating system or the actual uh, hard drives. So, like I said, if this helped you out, thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, thumbs down. And if you got any comments, any questions, let me know down below. And uh, I'll have all the specs to my gaming rig also in the description. So if you want to check that out. And uh, all right, guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.